Bay Bear, the voice of the narrator from Dragon Ball Z, and you're watching Super Geek Stream. Hey, welcome back, guys, to Super Geek Stream. I'm Roy. I'm Crispy. And this is our Sony press conference review. So, in doing a review, we always want to touch the bad points. At least when I get bad news, I want to hear the bad news first and then the good news. So, we're going to start with Sony's bad parts that they did. Basically, it was a really slow start. I mean, the, uh, the Vita, how they're going to make it stronger and better, how it's actually going to work well with the, the PS4. PS4. Which we already heard on February. I mean, we know it's going to get we stronger. We know this, yeah. We know it's going to get more play for like almost every game out there. Uh, another thing was the, the music. The video unlimited. The video unlimited. You know how they have music unlimited for subscription. Where they brought some Sony uh, entertainment guy. Yeah, and, that has nothing to do with Sony computer entertainment. They just brought him in and they they told him he said that he was all the all Sony's uh, films are gonna be on video unlimited, which is cool. Yeah, it's basically but it's boring. Netflix, another Netflix in a way, but it's, it's Sony's like well, way of Netflix. Yeah, and also not not as not as many games as we thought they were going to be. I mean, yeah. most of the games that were shown were games that were shown on the Microsoft conference. So it was basically yeah. like, uh, Assassin's Creed and all the, the same same videos. Well, not the same videos, but the same games. Just, Pretty much. The same they, games they basically got the that they play. showed on Ubisoft and EA. Yeah, they basically got the gameplay and Ubisoft played the trailers. Yeah. The uh, that we got, or big thing you want to share with you is there's going to be no DRMs for No DRM. This is the good news. Uh, no DRM basically means that you're going to have no restrictions to your used games. You're gonna be able to give them to Roy if I want to give yeah. that game to Roy. Trade them back, buy used games. That's basically what they were saying. Like I think they were kind of dogging on uh, Microsoft. No, they were kind of dogging. They, they were, were. They were saying you could buy them. You could do whatever you want because once you buy them, they're yours. They're yours. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, there was a video. I well, not only that, but they also said there's not. You don't always have to be online. You don't have to have those constant updates. How Microsoft is gonna yeah. have. Yeah. Um, so basically, that's also saying the no to a DRM. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And no, always online. No, always online. No, always constant uh, uh, what updates. updates or uh, checkups, check-ins or whatever you want to call them. Also, um, uh, I don't. Uh, the pricing has been announced. Of course, it's it's starting at three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, which is we all predicted this in Super Geek Stream, but uh, we predicted that it would be. Three ninety nine and, and we got right. Three ninety nine is a way better start than uh, their PS three debut, which was what five ninety nine and six ninety nine for the, the forty gig model. Oh, that's, uh, that's disgusting, bad. And a hundred dollars in difference of price between the Xbox One and the PS. But not only that, I mean, on the long run, um, the whole DRM. I mean, that's gonna probably yeah, it's gonna play in uh, Sony's favorite. Favorite, our favorite. I mean, if I, if I were GameStop and I would be like, what's the point of me having uh, Xbox One in my shop? if yeah, I can't get problems. money off of it exactly. and uh, I would be like I'm gonna have Sony I'm gonna have Sony posters everywhere be like buy Sony buy PS4 and uh, it's in the long run like you said it's perfect and another big oh, big thing that happened Square Enix with its Final Fantasy 13 versus which has now been turned over or changed its name to Final Fantasy 15 yeah since they've been six years so, in development yeah, <laughs> almost like six years in development since like 13 came out I mean this game has uh, officially thought it was dead already yeah, I mean, I, a lot of people thought it was dead since like nothing ever came out for like the past what, two I think years. this is the first trailer in in, in like five years, eight years but yeah. uh, I mean, it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks, oh, it looks badass. It looks so. sick. I, it's I, gonna be, from what I heard, I'm sure it's gonna be, gameplay, right? Yes, yeah, so, uh, it's gonna be a PS3 exclusive because it's always in the, this one was supposed to be the, three, the PS3 exclusive, but now it's gonna be PS4. Yeah. And not only that, but they also surprised us with Kingdom Hearts 3. Guys. Oh my god. If you're a Die Hard I, fan like I am, I did on the laptop and I jumped and kind of screamed a bit. I mean, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is like one of one, one of my favorite favorite franchises of all. If anything, it's like probably like my number one. Uh, I'm going to be there waiting day one when it comes out. Um, I can't wait to get more with to do this. With your little key. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are like Die Hard or Kingdom Hearts fan. It's just, they're, they're indie developers. They're indie games. Yeah. That's a good thing because basically Xbox One said that they don't want any, like, no Nobody's gonna be able to publish games except for Microsoft, except for Xbox. Nobody else, and that's a great thing because when you have indie games, you get games like uh, Limbo, you get games like Journey, you get, you get all those little games like Plants vs Zombies. They're really, really good, but they're indie. They're small, and uh, you need to support those. Kind of yeah, games. no, yeah, but these games are really good. I mean, I personally haven't tried uh, Journey, but I've heard great, great reviews of it. Of like what masterpieces, ten yeah. out of ten. I mean, they're just little companies. I mean, if you if we start giving these companies attention they need, I mean. Just imagine what kind of like that. Um, other thing is, uh, they actually, well, we are covered, covered. They actually show gameplay this time of the games that have already been coming out. Yeah. Um, Assassin's Creed, uh, Watch Dogs, everything. I mean, it looks, it, Watch Dogs actually looks like one of the games 
to be played out there. It looks sick, dude. It's, like, it's one of the most... I, I believe it's a, it's a must-play game. I, I think it's a must-play game. I was telling everybody last year, everybody was dogging me for it, for saying that it's a must-play game, but it looks sick. It looks really good. I was I was in dogging them, but when I first saw Watch Dogs, like, when, when it actually premiered, I don't I was think like, you dogged me. It was Miguel I was just like, saw the like dog what's, what's Watch Dogs? But after seeing the trailers and everything and the gameplay, I mean, this game looks like it, it's, it's going to be badass. It's yeah, going to be, it's gonna be really good. It might be one of those contenders for the game of the year. I wasn't that excited to be honest with you for, with you for Assassin's Creed only because it's like the sixth one and uh, yeah pretty much that's, it. that's the only reason I'm it's, not excited it's, for it. It's technically the fifth if you if you count the Roman numerals but um, they, they've been great hits. I mean they've, they've been like they've been great hits. They've yeah. Three or four or five but yeah. I would actually go back and try them out but that's um, we also got the GTA 5 bundle. Oh, which is it's small, it's nothing big, but yeah, it's but it, it comes with cool. the bundle. It means GTA 5. Uh, there's a lot of big Grand Theft Auto fans. Starting at 2.99 also, and you get a, a headset. Yeah, it comes includes a headset. It's a special edition headset of GTA, and uh, that's basically it for the good parts. I mean, that I mean, that's not like it's nothing. It was a really good conference. I think Sony. I think Sony stole wants. the deal. I think I think they beat Microsoft yeah. only only because the whole DRM. I mean, I think everybody was almost yeah, like everybody was chanting Sony in the conference. Yeah, because I mean, no one wants DRM like that before. Nobody they wants that. They shouldn't do that. But Sony listened to us. They actually yeah. like, hey, can we do this? I mean, we're probably gonna not lose, lose our, money, yeah, but we're like we're customers. we're gonna lose our customers. Which I mean, thank you for listening to us. Yeah. Hey, I mean, they actually did something that we want. I mean, something for the gamers. Now we know that Sony's... On like, our side. Yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, there's still corporations that want money, but that shows that they care about their consumers. Well. And one more thing that's kind of, It's not really bad news, but it's... Well, we've been hearing that you yeah. have to have PlayStation Plus to play online. I mean, that's... Not that's not so so bad news because there's a review of plus PlayStation Plus, but you get a lot of good perks yeah, out of it. You I, get free games. I think you get like I three. I filled my whole PS3 with PlayStation. You get like what three PS3 games uh, a month and like two Vita games yeah. for free. I and mean, you get discounts. And it's only in reality it's only five bucks a month that you're paying. Uh, I it does stuff. You have to dish out the whole fifty even on the whole year like yeah. right there and then. But it's a small price to pay uh, to play on to play online. I think it's a small price to play. It's a small pr- as long as they the include perks. things like Gaikai and all that stuff, I'll be fine. I'll be completely cool with it. But uh, hopefully Sony doesn't. Sony's always listened to the cons- consumer, and I wouldn't see them changing anything about that. And correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not too sure I'm right on this because I did see. I I was looking away from the screen when I read this or when I saw this, but. I think that you know if you already have a membership, your membership of PlayStation Plus, you don't have to buy it for PlayStation Four. No, you don't. You trans- it transfers it over. It transfers over. So I think you should need one PlayStation account, PlayStation Plus account for either your Vita, your PS3, and your PS4 all yeah. together. All of so them are going to require one. There's no. I mean, one account for all three systems. That's I that's mean, a deal. That's a deal. It's fifty bucks for all three systems with free games. Like I said, that was another little shit jab at uh, Microsoft because you can only have like a certain amount of folders for your family I think but yeah that's basically it for the Sony conference uh, thank you for watching thank you for watching please uh, follow us on Twitter at Super Geek Stream and uh, make sure you subscribe like share this video if you like it if you don't like it then just tell us what you don't like about it yeah I mean, exactly so you can improve and tell us what you did like about nice on Facebook right, comment subscribe and all that good stuff have a nice day see you're watching Super Geek Stream